What up, what up, people? It's your boy, Inspire for Change, aka Guled. Hope everybody's good, hope everybody's blessed. Listen, guys, you see the pattern? This is more, you know what I mean, structured. I know you guys have been telling me to take my stuff serious, and first of all, if you guys don't know about this channel, sorry, uh, my channel is called Inspire for Change, and I go by the name Guled. And this channel is based on motivating people, inspiring people, telling stories, but having a moral behind it and much, much more. So you guys press the bell button, subscribe, comment down below and make sure you like. And there's going to be so much content coming your way. Only God knows. So you guys stay tuned. Yeah. <clears throat> Today's story is regarding probation service. You know, we have the probation service and... It's a thing where they can be in a pain in the butt, you know. I felt like that was one of the barriers in life where I felt like it had a big hold on me, you know, because probation is one thing that I was scared of. Obviously, the judge, I'm scared of the judge. Probation service, that, that's another scare because they hold your freedom in their hands. So when you're on license, license means when you come out of prison and you're on probation and they monitor you in the community, um... That's when you got probation and stuff like that. So probation service. First of all, um, I started going probation since the age of twelve. I was twelve years old when I first went probation. Uh, uh, yacht. It's called y a yacht, yeah, in Acton. Youth offending team. Exactly. I remember I had a lady called Claire. Claire works in housing now, you know. Big up Claire. She works in Elon Housing. Um, she works in Elon Housing, you know. Uh, yeah, you've got Claire, you got Rachel. Woo! Rachel was a spice. Get me? If she sees this, then yeah, well gone, Rachel. Um, and who else? Um, you had bare different people. You had Naima, you had a Somali girl, I had some Naima, yeah, I had a Somali woman, she used to give me bare vouchers. Imagine they signed me up to probate, but imagine you used to pay for my Virgin Active membership when I was like 16. Or 50 hours, 16, I, every day I'll take a new friend of mine. So I've got three of my regions, so I'll take one of my regions, then I'll take the other one, then I'll take the other one, and just spin it around like that. So what, let me go back to the story and the reason why I'm talking about probation. Probation, I've done a lot of time for probation, you know. And, like, from I went from, I've been to a few probation. I've been to one in Croydon, I've been to one in West Ealing, I've been to the um, Askey Road one in Bush. Um, what other probation? I've been to Barra probation next to the train station. Um, what other probation? Um, what other probation? I've been to a few probations. However, what probation do is like man's got oh you know what I mean like I've got a big chip on my shoulder for the probation service because you know what they keep recalling you for silly things, man. Like you could have a zoo, a spliff. You could be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You could miss an appointment. You can even not have a roof over your head, and they will recall you. And the probation, that, that's what drenching, coming out of prison, that's a struggle itself. But knowing that you can go back to, to prison just by one little mistake that you're not even aware of, that's even daunting, mate. That's, that's traumatising for me. Personally, I got PD, PTSD from that. And, and the probation service, being recalled, gave me PTSD. It really scared me. It had a big, big fear factor in my life. So... With probation now, man done so many years with probation, being going through probation since a young age, since the age of twelve, going, 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 giving them so much hours, so much time. I've been recalled, I think, three times, two, three times, you know what I mean? And it's not nice being recalled. So I said to myself, you know what, Guled? You've turned a new leaf over. You've got a new chapter in your life. You're praising God for even showing you the light. And what are you going to do now? You're going to give back. All right, cool. I started working. I had a little part-time job here on the side. However, one day, I just came to the conclusion that what I need to do is I wore a nice shirt. Got some trousers on. Make sure the beard, everything's looking fillet or so. By the way, see this thing here? I figured they got backed out the thing on man. Yeah, I backed it still. And this is hair moisturizer, it's from Lush. 
So big you up, the person that got me this. It smells beautiful. I wish I had a hair. Inshallah, it will come back again. However, I use it for my beard and you can see my thing looking glistening. So I recommend this. It's called Hair Moisturiser. It ain't got nothing in it. It's very good for your um, for your hair. Anything in there is like is home is handmade in it, cosmetics in it. So you ain't got no all of that nonsense in it. And you know this bad boy in it. You got the cocoa, uh, Palmer's cocoa butter. See this cream here. It saved me, you know. Car. I'll come to that. See what this. See this cream. What it helped me with was. See, when I, I went to Felton at a young age, I started banging weights in it from a young age, so I started blowing up. So my, my muscles started ripping. So what did I start getting? I started getting stretch marks. See, this what this this done. I don't remember who the brother that told me to do it, but big you up here. Um, I started rubbing this on my stretch marks and stuff like that, and it started fading away. This on bio oil, but I prefer this, you know. And you do it consistently. You don't do it once. You just do it like, like twice, two, three times a day. So, like, obviously, I pray in it, so, like, obviously, I'll be able to use it as much as I can. So, one of the best creams, anyway. But let me go back to the probation thing. As I was saying, guys, yeah? So, now, I've given so much time to the probation service. Man's been getting recalled. Man's been doing... I think I've done at least 500 hours for these people for free. Voluntary. Do you know what I mean? And then, I just come to the native. I said to myself, you know what? I'm slapping on the shirt. Got my trousers on. I'm going to the probation... Serve office that I went to when I first was 18 because I was old enough because that's adults in it so I went to there I went knocked on it hello you got a time you like, drrr, drrr. hello you got an appointment yeah come in yeah, yeah I got they just bust the door you can say anything they just bust the door you open the door come up go up the stairs as soon as you go up the stairs now bow I've come to the desk now I said to the woman now hi how you doing Good afternoon. How are you? Great, thanks. You got an appointment today? No, I don't have an appointment. Okay, well, how can I help you? What are you doing here? Well, um, I've been coming to this probation service from like the age of 18 and I'm currently 25, 26 years old. However, I want to give back. And I think a lot of my experience and a lot of my knowledge from the past can help these youngsters and help you to understand them where they're coming from. And I think there's a big gap. Oh, really? Do you think so? One second, let me call a young lady for you. So, boom, now she's left now. Who's come down now? Toller. Toller's come down, yeah? A nice, black, strong woman. Big smile. What was she? Scorpion. She was a scorpion. Yeah, bite! She was a scorpion, because that's how we got along. Get me? This time now, she was a scorpion. Honestly, we don't believe in star signs, innit? But she's a scorpion, innit? But this time now, anyway, um, the tutus now. I see you, hey, how you doing, you right? Mom, how you doing, you good, yeah? So come now, how you doing, I'm good, yeah, yeah. Um, how can I help you? Well, basically today, I've come to, I want to give back. I told him my scenario, how long I've been in the probation service for, how many years I've done, and I want to give back, and this is what I want to bring. She felt the energy, straight away. I might have something for you. I said, really? What's that? To come back to me at two. All right, cool. I've come seen them around quarter to one. Do you know what I mean? I remember I came out, so I'm thinking, where am I going to go? I'm in West Leland. Where am I going to go right now? Mm, looked at the time. Obviously, I didn't have a watch, but I looked at my phone in it. Mm, looked at the time. Mm, prayer time. Let me go pray. So I went to West Leland Mosque. Went to go pray quickly. I had prayed. Went subway afterwards. Got myself a munch. Came back at two. There's a class. They've got a project going on. And this time now, after they've got a project going on, and the project's about building CVs and disclosures. So if you guys see my Instagram, it's called Inspire for Change. You will see one of my posts and you'll see the little article that they wrote about me. And the woman, the director, Linda Linningham, sorry if I don't I forgot her name, surname, yeah. Linda, really nice lady. Um Lorraine. Lorraine Lorraine Knight. Yeah, strong woman as well. Watch this now. So they're there. So I'm there, so I'm building. So I come into the room now. <laughs> I'm not an inmate no more. I'm not on probation no more. I'm staff. So I'm like, cool. I've come into the room. I see Mandem. So I've looked around. I see one brother. I see my man. I said, brother. I looked at him. I went like, brother. No, you need no someone for the roads. I went like, my brother. I even try to be up my thing. You see it? 
Watch this now. Broke it down with them anyway. Pat, 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 pat. Giving it to them. Pat, 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 pat. Chopping it up, chopping it up. News goes around in the place. Have you seen a new guy? Have you seen a new guy? And they're like, oh, um, no, nah, who is he? He's amazing. You should see the way he speaks to them. He understands them. I think he's the one. Watch this now. So now, Chantel. Beautiful, amazing, bright young lady, Chantel. She's the manager of her in Northwest London area. Area manager, yeah? So Chantel got informed. So Chantel, now, I want to come along myself and go see. So Chantel, so one day Chantel comes along to one of the classes. They're recording me on a the corner. They've got a camera in front of me now. Who's watching camera? Show is on before I walk into that door. What do you mean? They're hitting him up. Pap, 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 pap. What would you do in an interview? How would you conduct yourself? Etc. Stuff like that. So now she's watching me. Thinking, you know what? Man, that's amazing. He's great. I need to tell, I need to tell my boss, boss. So now I got, I got invited. Guess where they invited me to? Waterloo headquarters. HQ, mate. Headquarters. So this is the base where all the probation service are there. Do you know what I mean? So I'm there. What? Suited and booted. I'm rolling. Let's go. Me and Lorraine's come now. Lorraine's bought me breakfast that morning. Wow, she said, make sure you got... You don't want you to start you on an empty stomach. So she got me breakfast on her. She, she, she actually offered in it. So why not? You get me? Who am I to say no? Anyway, these time now. And she covered my travel as well that day. I remember. Big her up. So these time now, um, I come there now. Do what I'm saying. Linda said to me, you know what? When I saw your video and you was on stage, I cried. Because I could feel your emotion. I could feel the pain and the passion that you won't change. Right, right, right. She said, all right, cool. So I've left it from there. Linda, but obviously because of the COVID thing, but I'm gonna, obviously that door's still open. I ain't closed that door myself. You know what I mean? So that door's still open. So now summer, so so me, so me, so me, so me, so Asian woman, very amazing, strong woman as well. So me, yeah, so me. She's come to him and meet it. She's like, bang. So I've done that with Linda now. Everything's cool now. Bam, bam, bam. They're loving the kid. Watch this now. I'm still doing the project thing now. I want to make money. I said, you know, as much as you guys like me and as much as I can make a difference, I've got bills to pay. I've got a roof over my head. I've got food on the table that I need to provide. Can you guys at least meet me halfway? All right, cool. Come see us. I remember the time when they come see me. I had TV at the time, you know. So I've gone to see her in, in, in Paddington Station. Lunch was on her. She, she offered. We sat down. We eating, eating, eating. She's all right, cool. We've got a place for you to do a talk that we want you to train up the probation officers. Yeah? Where's this place? It's in Holloway. Where? Holloway Road, yeah? Said, yeah. All right, cool. No problem. And they want you to talk for one hour. How much do you, how much do you want to get paid? I'm looking at them thinking, you don't want to sound too desperate, but you don't want to sound too cheap. I just told him I said a drill, 250, huh? That's what I've said to myself, 250, boom. Looked at me like, hmm. Hmm, interesting. All right, cool, we're going to get back to you. Cool, she brings me up. Yeah, it's been confirmed. We're going to pay you that on the day. You just turn up, cool. I've come there now. I've turned up. 45 minutes. <laughs> Mac 10, sprayed it on them. One time, bye. Left, they said, do you want it in cash or you want it in your account? I said, my account. Put in there, two hours later, 250 years on my account. I've done a 45 minutes talk. So I turned my negative situation into a positive situation. I could have went back out there, I could have been anything else. I, I'm a person on the train, I could have done so much. But I thought like, let me go back. Let me do something that I'm passionate about. Let me do something that I've got knowledge about. And who knows, I can help people that can help me and let's help each other and we can grow like that. So I took that initiative, and I thought about, I thought out of the box, and it was great. And yeah, I love doing it. And 
and there's going to be more in the future. So that's my experience for the probation service.